Go Live. Our next guest has hits that only, not only shaped the hip-hop scene in Miami-Dade County, she is a dynamic artist, philanthropist, and now reality star of Love & Hip Hop Miami. Take a look. On behalf of all of our citizens of the city of Miami, we take great pleasure in honoring Katrina Taylor and proclaiming today, Trina Day, in the city of Miami. Having my city name a day after me for all of my community work is a huge honor. One of the greatest parts of my success is being able to give back to the girls of Miami. And I'm so happy that my cousin Joy was here for support. Awesome. Oh, amazing. She sold over 8 million records, has done countless features, and is simply a boss. Please welcome the Diamond Princess herself, Trina. Trina! Yeah. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Double hug. Can we Thank get you. Right into it? Come on in, my friend. All right, so we're not going to confuse each other, but we're both Trina. Yes. <laughs> You're the baddest Trina. I'm the Braxton Trina. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trina and Trina. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Great name, yes. great fun people. Yes. So you recently went crowd surfing. How was it? I've never done that before. I've always wanted to do it. i never done it. This is my first time last night when I did it. I was terrified, nervous, scared. I was offbeat. It was time to go. I forgot my earrings was on. I was scared it was going to pull them off. So mm -hmm. yes. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And I just went and did it. Would you really? ever do it again? Would you ever do it yeah, again? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. I can't wait to do it the next time. Yes. Oh, yes. You should try it. I want to. You have to, you have to wear sneakers, though. Okay. Sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. And then the earrings, you make no earrings, earrings, no earrings, no jewelry, no nothing. nothing. Yeah. No nothing. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> well, let's take it all the way back. Trina, how did you even get introduced to music? When did it start for you? When did you realize you had this passion? Um, A, a long time ago, actually, I was doing real estate before I actually did a record with Trick, and that's mm -hmm. how the first record started off. Um, he called me in the studio one day to just come do a song with him, or just basically come and, like, talk trash. Like, right. sell him out. Like, be the dominant. <laughs> And I did it, and after I did the record, um, the label was calling and hounding me to, to sign me. I didn't know if I wanted to do that, and I kept stalling and stalling. But when the record hit the radio and I did the first concert with him, I was it was over. Yeah, that, that, I'm sure the attention from the odd from the <laughs> crowd, you were like, oh, I can yes. live this life. Yes, yes, yes. good, mm -hmm. good, good. Well, um, Triple X Magazine uh, named you the most consistent female rapper. Yes. Like, what does that mean for you? I mean, it feels good. You know, I work really hard. I work a lot. Um, I almost never stop working. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. It's almost giving back to the fans. When I'm not working, I feel kind of bored a mm -hmm. little. So I'm so used to traveling all over the place, all over the world. I love it. I love to travel. I love to perform. So I like it. Yeah, and you just performed um, with the On The Run Tour with yes. Jay-Z mm -hmm. and uh, yes. Beyonce mm -hmm. with, during uh, DJ Khaled. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> So tell us about that experience. That was really great. Um, Khaled is a great friend of mine, of course. So when he asked me to do the show, I was honored. And of course, it's the Queen Bee stage. Like, mm -hmm. how could you not be overexcited and super excited? I almost, when I hit the stage, I was so excited, I caught myself like walking down her catwalk. I hurried up and ran back up <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you're not supposed to be over here. But it was fun. I had a great time. Good, yes. good, good, good. Yes. And of course, as all women, we come up with so many male-dominated fields. Mm -hmm. Obviously in music and being a female rapper. Uh, what was that like for you and how do you continue to uh, you know, stay grounded in what you do and stay true to who you are? Um, it's real dominated, of course, because it's more guys than there's females. Um, mm -hmm. I think when you're a girl, a woman, and you come into the business, you have to really be focused. You mm -hmm. have to really be determined and know what you want because you'll get pushed over. Yeah. You have to really like have a support team and people that surround you that has your best interest. Mm -hmm. And you just got to go hard. You know, yeah. a lot of people going to tell you no for certain things. You just got to keep pushing. Yeah. And, you know, um, for myself, I came around all guys, so I was able to deal with the industry when I got into it because the guys were so tough. So I was just like, I'm better than y'all. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, so, loving hip hop Miami. Mm -hmm. How did you even? Uh, I mean, <laughs> how did I even get on loving hip hop Miami? Right, because a lot of people go in there to 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 resurrect their career. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, what were what was your reasoning behind it? Um, it was a lot of reasons. A lot of people in Miami. I wanted to see them win. I wanted to see them on a the platform. They would not film Love and Hip Hop Miami if I didn't do the show. Mm -hmm. That was the thing. They came uh, to Miami a couple years, a couple years, five years prior. I kept turning them down. I kept saying no, no, no. Because for me, nobody's not throwing no drinks in my face. So we're right. not gonna do that. We're not gonna do no craziness. I'm not here to make a brand. I am a brand. So I'm just here to That's like right. enhance. It's a platform. It's television. I have a record label. I have yeah. artists. I have people that I want to help out. So I did it for that reason. And I mean, it's TV is every day and. And, um, and, and that was kind of it. Yeah. And you yeah. started that label in 2014. Yes. So what inspired you to do that label? And you have, what, mostly females on there? I have mostly, I have mostly females, but I have some guys, too. Okay. I, I 
always want to do it. Every time I go somewhere, um, people always ask me to sign them. But I'm like, I'm so busy. I can't do this. I can't mm. do this. And when the time came for me to really have a moment to sit and actually do it, I just started getting more requests from artists. I mean, more requests from people, unsigned hype that was talented, that, you know, had a lot of music. I was like, well, I want to give them a shot. I've been following them for a couple of years, mm. and I've been watching them, and I see that they're, you know, they, they're talented, and they need a platform so the music can be heard. And I was just excited to do it, you know. And yeah. I, everybody that I signed, they're humble. They're grateful. Mm. I believe in them you know okay. this is a tough industry a lot of people don't even believe in them a lot of people don't believe in you know making it that far in the business but I believe in them. if I believe in you I'm gonna put my all into all it. Right. I'm gonna make sure it happens for you good, good. well yeah. up next Trina's new artist who she's speaking of Nia yeah. joins us when Sister Circle Live returns stay right where you are all right we are back with Trina and her artist Nia looking all <laughs> glamorous and glittery thank you how nice you doing you nice Hi. to meet you too I'm excited are I'm so you excited to be here good we're, we're excited to have you so tell us about your sound Nia um, I have a urban R&B sound. Okay. Um, it's really fun. I have some fun songs, and I have you know the love songs, you know for the girls. Just yeah. Relatable. Yeah. Music. Yeah. So, so Trina, what did you see in her that you said, you know what? Yep, on my label. She's <laughs> fire. She's mm -hmm. just feisty. She could dance. She could sing. She has an amazing voice. She's humble. I like her energy. When I first met her, she just came into the studio and she just, we played the record and she just got up and got into a vibe That's and just went for it. And I was right. like, I love that. And then I watched the video of her dancing and rehearsing for the song and I was just blown away. Yeah. You know, and then she played some other records and I was like, you know what? You deserve a shot. Yes. Let's make it happen. So you write your own music as well? I co-write with mm -hmm. the um, writer Zorenzo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Where are you from? Miami, Florida. You're from Miami. Oh, yeah. Miami. <laughs> it would not be right if I wasn't. Right. <laughs> represent, represent. So what has Trina taught you about being in the business? To be humble, work hard, and stay focused. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She's always pushing me and making me feel comfortable. If, if she makes me feel like if I'm not comfortable, I shouldn't be doing it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So That's right. I'm just really grateful to have a mentor like yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. And how, how often do you rehearse? Ooh, I rehearse every week, all the time. <laughs> okay, okay well, let's sing a little chorus right now. Let's sing a little <laughs> Really starting to feel like ain't no real, real. You ain't gotta lie, just keep it real, real. Wasting my time on this fake love is getting born in me. Right. Looking for loyalty. There ain't no loyalty no more, no more. I don't even want to be your ex no more. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. You better, yeah. 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 So, and on the singer, yes. and Selena in the back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So, Trina and Nia, thank you so yes. much for joining us today. Yes, and of course, tomorrow we'll be back. Uh, we've got amazing morning show, morning save deal, plus singer-songwriter, Mario. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.